control debate continues in Tallahassee and Washington. Some South Florida mayors are asking, can they do something on their own? CBS 4's Amber Diaz live in Coral Springs, where the mayor is pushing loudly for change tonight. Amber. That's right. Mayor Skip Campbell tells me he's so confident that if banning assault weapons was put on the 2018 ballot, it would pass. That's why he's gotten together with other state mayors who care as much as he does. Mayor Skip Campbell spoke of it Wednesday's commissioners meeting, saddened that legislature won't move forward to ban assault weapons. Every mayor, and there's lots of them, I don't have the exact number, all feel that this is the time to do something. He's now leading an effort with other state mayors to get an amendment to the state's constitution to ban assault weapons. But a 1987 law was created to limit elected officials' ability to make their own gun policies, followed by another law in 2011 that fines elected officials and even removes them from office if they try. Instead of making a move as an elected official, he says he's speaking out as a concerned citizen. The city of Coral Springs is not doing anything individually. This is being done by a number of mayors as individual citizens of the state of Florida and the United States of America. Our kids need to be protected. But the mayor of Coral Gables is taking one for the city, challenging the 2011 law by finding ways to ban assault weapons. The city attorney advised him against it, and this was his response. Remember Rosa Parks that sat in the front of the bus? Remember Martin Luther King with civil disobedience? We want to challenge the system to stop the murder of our children. Mayor Campbell says he wants to leave the decision in the hands of voters. While it's too late to get it on this year's ballot, he's going to try for 2020. Back out here live in Coral Springs, City Commissioner Dan Daly also introduced an ordinance that would limit the sale and transfer of large capacity gun magazines in the city of Coral Springs. Reporting live tonight, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.